Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And uh, this is the Seiko 5 SNK 809. And this is a very popular watch, popular item that's very well searched for. And a lot of people, uh, well some people get disappointed by this watch. And it has been my mission to undisappoint people. And I believe that I found a few ways to make this watch better. Uh, as you can see in the... Uh, in the description of this video, we're going to polish it, but not right now. We're just, just briefly talk about it. Not going to be a re real review video. If you want a, a review video on this watch, uh, uh, there is a, another video that I have with the SNK803, which is basically the same. So please look for that one. Anyway, this uses the Seiko's S, uh, 7S62C automatic mechanical movement. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour, employs 21 joules for the. Uh, smoothness of the movement has a 40 hour power reserve is accurate to minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day average has a Harlex mineral crystal front and back the movement is not hackable you can't pull out the crown and stop the second hand and it is not windable you cannot wind it so you definitely need to just shaky shaky it's just a shaky shaky watch but because this movement is extremely efficient just a few shakes, it will get it right going. So, let's get to the measurements. It's very uh, relatively small case. It's uh, 37.1 millimeters. So we'll say 37. Lug to lug about 43 millimeters. Lug width 18 millimeters. Thickness 10.4 millimeters. So a relatively small watch. And a lot of people are disappointed by that because of its small size especially because of the 18 millimeter strap and it does look real small let me put it on my wrist for you and while it won't look small through the video because of the way the lens is uh, it, it does feel really small on my wrist I'm not gonna, not gonna bother with the other strap but I have a 6.7 uh, inch wrist and I don't know if you can tell but it does look small some might say it looks perfect but to me it looks small I'm used to I'm used to uh, bigger watches and it's also because of these lugs are just kind of they're not too they don't stick out too much and it just feels feels kind of small I've seen some people call this a girly watch uh, I disagree I think it's I think it's a good size it just it just needs a little extra to make it right and I'll show you later on what I mean about that let's briefly uh, check out the loom here I'm gonna set the ISO to ISO 1600 to better reflect what's in my face and uh, use a big ass X star light here. I'm gonna just blast this here with a tremendous amount of light. Turn my tablet around, and there you go. So you know, it's actually for what you're getting for the amount of surface area. It's not bad. I'll give it maybe, I'll give it maybe a 7.5 out of 10. It's not bad. But you're not going to be buying this watch for loom. Despite that, it does last a long time. It's just not super bright like an Orange Monster or an Omega. But uh, it, it's it's okay. Let me just turn on that light. ISO back down to 125. All right. So let's see what's next on the list of things to talk about. Okay. So yeah. So I've been searching for a, the right strap for this watch, and I believe I found it. I'm still gonna search for more straps so, so I can show you guys what I found but I, I think I found a really good one for this and I'll show you why later on but let's get to the polishing I'm going to take off the strap here the strap comes off really easy because the canvas just just melts away and uh, I'm not gonna bother with taking out the movement uh, I think the movement is robust enough that you, you just don't need to care about it. I've done this before with Seiko's and uh, they have been perfectly fine so don't give me hate <laughs> and um, well, I would have normally used uh, let's see I would have normally used this Dremel this 10.8 uh, volt lithium iron Dremel but it legit died tonight it just told it the battery's fully charged it died and I'm just so upset that that died so I'm gonna use my backup all trade corded deal it's kind of rickety but it works it just kind of gets really hot and I feel like it's gonna burst into flames <laughs> so we're gonna use this 
polishing wheel and you can get like bags of them you can literally get bags of them for very cheap off of, off of Amazon or eBay or whatever and I'm also gonna use mother's mag and aluminum polish now you can use whatever polish you want this is just what I had because I, I often polish stuff uh, with my with my motorcycles and my cars and stuff so this is what I use and it's been working fine ever since I highly recommend you put on eye protection because the polishing process will shoot the polish into your face if you're not careful and uh, employ a lot of a lot of rags here and there oh my god all right let's put this old crappy rag out here there you go and then I uh, just start the process okay now so I'm just gonna just just get it going so I'm gonna put a little bit of polish just a little bit on the edges of the wheel and then I'm gonna turn it on it's gonna start spewing polish all over the place I'm just gonna and now this doesn't work what the frick oh there you go oh boy and uh, I'm just gonna oh there you go it's just shooting polish all over <laughs> and I'm just gonna start going to town just gonna begin right away just gonna start going to town use nice even movements don't uh, don't press down too hard this is not gonna take you very long but you you do want to spend a long time on the fine details just uh, go slowly take your time this will probably take you about maybe about eight hours of polishing and finally polishing to get it right and uh, I will just do this little spot to show you how the process begins and then I will totally totally finish it and then come back so let's uh, turn up this loud ass thing here and then already you can see already you can already see with just that little bit amount of, of love that it is already starting to shine now it doesn't take much to to shine up these watches the bead blasting is very fine and you can go down very very well uh, the hardest part will be able will be getting between the bezel and the top of this case right here but that won't be a problem don't worry about this crown just go right over it the crown will actually polish up really nicely and uh, yeah I'll be back in a little while after I polish it all right we're back and now I spent a couple hours on this, but here we go. Here's the finished product of that SNK 809. I tried to get as much of the surfaces as possible, but I think it came out pretty nice. And it won't be perfect, guys. Just letting you know, it won't be perfect. Uh, basically, you gotta just be patient when you're polishing these things. Just, just uh, do a little bit, put it down, come back later, do a little bit more. It's gonna take a while. There's going to be a lot of things that uh, you're going to have to go over and over and over again. Uh, and again, it's not going to be perfect. But it does look pretty cool. Here's a, here's a strap I'm going to put on it. And this, this, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is probably the closest to perfect you're going to get on this strap. So let me just put this on here real quick. This is a rubber Hadley Roma strap. And I'll give you the model number in the description. And uh, oh, and de definitely get it from the seller that I'm gonna link down below if he has them in stock. If not, then uh, search for other ones on eBay or whatever. But the seller I listed in in the description is really cool. This guy Dino, he's a real cool guy. He takes care of his customers. Top notch seller. I highly recommend. Go check out his store. Uh, check out his store to look at other other straps and stuff. And uh, uh, get in there. Get in the belly. Get in the belly. Get in the belly. It doesn't want to go in the belly, guys. What the hell? Come on, find the hole. This is not seventh grade again. What the hell? What? <sighs> <laughs> Fail. There you go. I'm gonna give it a little wipe. Give it a little wipey wipe for the for the boys. And there you have it. So here is the new and improved Seiko SNK. 809 now what do you think about that see how the uh, this strap kind of kind of a uh, comes outside of the lugs here 
not just inside. Gives the watch a slightly bigger feel. Uh, it doesn't look so girly on your wrist. Uh, it does taper down to 16 millimeters. I wish it was just 18 all the way across, but because it tapers out from outside the lug, uh, outside of the lugs, it does give a better feel. But would you just look at it? It looks way different, wouldn't you say? It looks tremendously different. Now let me put it on my wrist. I'm gonna take off the watch I'm wearing. Put it on my wrist, and uh, I don't know if you guys have, if I've mentioned this before. But this particular watch is... Oh, would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? Oh, my goodness. Yeah? Yeah? Do you like it? Seiko, you should make a version just like this. A super polished version. I'm sure people will buy it. What are you guys doing? Make both versions. Okay? Make it the SNK 809P or something, you know? So, yes, it still looks small. But it's very wearable now with this bigger strap, and it's thick, you know. So it's a, it's a thick strap, so it doesn't. It's very comfortable. This strap is very comfortable, and this watch is just beautiful now. I love it. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but in the near in the near future, stick around, stick around this channel, subscribe. This particular watch is gonna go on a super adventure to see if it can handle the rigors of. A killer gnarly adventure and uh, this is this watch is gonna travel a couple thousand miles and it's gonna go through some rough terrain on dirt bikes uh, jumps possible crashes just gnarliness and we'll see if, uh, if it handles I'm gonna time the watch before I go on that trip and I'm gonna time it after so look forward to that in the months to come and uh, hope you like this uh, how to polish this watch and this is just beautiful yeah <laughs> all right thanks for watching <laughs> Thank you.